Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here. Thank you for checking out my videos. Go to thecombatsystem.com for all your mixed martial arts needs. And please subscribe to my YouTube page. Make sure to go to thecombatsystem.com and subscribe to my YouTube page. Cat Suits. Counting me. And it was a good time. Thank you very much. Thank for you. Thank um, for helping me. Uh, make sure to subscribe to this guy's uh, channel, Dan the Wolfman. Uh, you respect the game, man. You know the game. You know what you're talking about. And uh, yeah, uh, you're pretty credible. Well, thank you so much. This is your brain. This is your brain with a 28 millimeter to 32 millimeter hole in it. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman. Hey, what's up everybody? I ain't dead yet. Look what I did the other day. Two days ago, I had major skull surgery. Got some eroded bone slash weird looking tumor thing removed from my head. Hopefully that will relieve some pressure. And anyway, I thought it might look pretty grody, and that could be interesting. Let's see if you can get in the mirror. Oh, there we go. Ooh, wow. It's going to look pretty sweet if I shave my head in two weeks. All the way to get the staples out. Anyway, ain't dead yet, mofos. I ain't surprised, motherfuckers. Ketchitsu highlights number seven. Guys, this is me after I survived major skull surgery, which my lupus caused, I guess. There's a head twist. Look at my anti-cage tactics video. Going against a wrestler here as I got back to training. Uh, a bit after my uh, surgery in Portland, I then moved to South Oregon. And I was doing security work there. Going with this wrestler here. So guys, uh, that's what people don't know about me. I've uh, been diagnosed with lupus and still surviving, hanging in there, and going with top guys as long as I possibly could for a long time, which is also why I filmed and made these videos, was so that I could have a record of kind of the weird, funky things, and chaining submissions, and, and wrestling into submissions, and rare submissions that I do. Setting up the top wrist lock here, throttled out, real catch wrestling style. Um, guys, I'm drinking a rare second beer I just finished on a Friday night. I usually don't drink. Maybe like twice a, twice a month I'll have a beer on a Saturday night watching UFC. But I was out shopping at Walmart anyway and then realized Invicta had an old school uh, eight-woman tournament one night. Wanted to watch that. Had a couple beers. Thought it might be fun to do this. Earlier you saw wrestling uh, ten fingers snap down to turn into a... Um, Half hatch Cobra neck crank. This against the long, 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 long time Judica. First time going with him. Got the 10 figure guillotine. Pretty good energy here because these guys are trying to test me because it's my first time at this dojo in Japan. As I got sick of having no one really to go with and, and um, went back to Japan for six months. He's really trying here for the Kimura double wrist lock. And uh, you'll see I pull off the World Catch Wrestling counter. Um, Gary Tonin just liked a, uh, I, I sent him and some of the Henzo guys, I, I mentioned them in my fifth highlight video, and Tonin liked it. So I just uh, hit the counter to a double wrist lock. If you don't know that, you should. Um, here at AACC, this guy's a pro fighter. It's probably the first time going with him. Um, former pro fighter. Now look at me doing a sideways knee crank, funking into a sideways knee crank here. Maybe, you know, if this was a real fight, I could break it. Maybe not, but I use it to funk out and get on top. Maybe Ben Askren style. I don't know. Using submissions to funk. You know, that probably wouldn't be allowed. See that modification of this Sperry Pass against Butterfly Guard I did there. I earlier did that against K. Amamiya in Kichichu Rare Submissions Highlight number five. Um, the earlier video also had me showing the non traditional side mount escapes seminar at Sarah BJJ, Puerto Rico, which uh, I just did there. I just did the um, Marcelo Garcia style armpit uh, push get up. And no, it's a stiff arm. And here I uh, tap him out with a reverse toe hold. This guy was really hard to smit. Real tough. Former Sengoku fighter. Um, another armpit escape to, to basically a get up. Uh, looks like I'm getting him in the stockade rack uh, neck crank here. 
Now he's starting to look for a Darsh Japanese necktie himself. Let me, let me keep in my arm out here. I want to keep the arm separated. Should actually, should probably be blocking his hip a bit more, but oh, I need more for Peruvian necktie. And scramble, use that hustle, get on top. Carlson Gracie Hulk smash. Here I decided to go a little bit farther away and visit a jiu-jitsu school, find it. This, I think first night there. Yeah, I was just going with the lighter guy. Get in the reverse knee bar here. And because I thought the black belt would roll with me, but I guess not. Um, but there was a brown belt here in a bit. There's the thigh master, uh, Suzanne Summers, boss crusher, if you will. Chest compression, there's a rolling toe hold. Kind of a flower sweep to mount. Setting up arm triangle, katagatami. Here's the brown belt. Pretty skilled guy. The hip and pop up sweep, uh, a pop up pass I do to get the guard open so I can start passing. It's literally the most effective thing there is. MMA, no gi, whatever. Tried for an ankle lock there and then had a funk out and hip heist and bridge. If you heard his reaction there and cartwheel pass. Uh, this guy's just a beginner here at Maha Dojo. I think he was a former semi-professional baseball player before. Hit him with some Aikido there, Sankyo. I adore it. Couldn't quite get it, but that sets up a guillotine. You see the theme in some of my videos. Look at my Aki grappling video I made last week. Blown up to 3,000 views in a week. Live Aki grappling, Aikido Sistema versus MMA BJJ, where I've compiled a lot of it. And actually, I forget about so much that I've done. Doing... Um, Kodageshi and Ayadori or Nikio and other stuff. There was kind of a Umaplata slash Hazlitt. Here I got a Russian lug hook slash empty half. But when you put that Russian lug hook on the foot there, guys, you can actually manipulate the guy, turn him into stuff like that guillotine there. Um, some, there's a hip crease. You saw me do that earlier to uh, Ed Herman in an earlier video and some other people doing some Kung Fu. Kung Fu sets up stuff. Oh my God, maybe TMA high hidden stuff that could be useful in grappling. Uh, I'm stretching this guy and I'm really stretching him. This is a stretch. This is catch wrestling, biomechanics. And he was my student, and there's reasons why some people I decide to stretch a little bit. This guy's a pro fighter, uh, much lighter, but obviously, uh, but but a pro fighter. Got him in the knee bar there. I thought I lost it, and then I caught it. Caught the knee line. You know, fast. Little guys want to use their speed and flexibility, but they don't want to use their strength. So I don't really use my strength. Don't use my body weight unless they're 170 or over. You typically... Um, you know, they have no problem using their, their speed and their flexibility and their, their scramble ability to transition from thing to thing to thing to thing. I've um, got them with the electric cherry tap, but I don't want to stop there. Got them with the knee to face stretch I made up, tapped, and now I'm looking, setting up the hip lock there. And when the telephone doesn't work, kids, you hit them with the Gene LaBelle separator. Separate that shoulder from his head. Timing, sensitivity, not size there. Roll them over. Lock the head. So that could be comma. Trying to get the arm. And hit him with some kind of modification of a double wrist lock Kamara there. See a hip crease reversal here. Uh, this is at the end of my um, Neon Belly seminar, guys. I have an ultimate Neon Belly. Enter the system, Neon Belly. Guys, I've entered the system for everything, including I had to enter the system for front headlock, which looks amazingly like someone else's, even though I did it four or five years earlier. Um, that was a neck crank. This guy was a pro fighter. 
and he had a cool Punisher Sakuraba shirt on. Um, I think he may have fought in so Sengoku and Deep. He scrambled pretty nice there. And, and small dojo, so just kind of stopped it there and said, all right, your turn, get on top. Lab goes from Neon Belly, which I taught them really when you're really going, make it Neon Chest. Um, so check out my... Guys, I got I got a playlist of... I teach you everything and put them in a system for every position before people even really thought about that. Then we end up in a leg lock scramble. He's going for one, I'm going for one. Things are starting to get dangerous when you play footsies. I switch to 50-50, which is not my favorite, but get there first for the uh, inverted or inside heel hook. This guy's kind of been around, but, you know, older guy, I don't, I don't know. Show him some magic tool, love. And see, so he was about to go for his own spin around knee bar, and I counter. I talked about that in Kitsch Jitsu Rare Submissions and Cool Transitions number one. Uh, this was a fight for you, Autism Awareness, that Ryzen and Akira Shoji, Pride Veteran, put on. And guys, that was the only gi I had that I took to Japan this time. The sleeves were already been ripped off, but I took it there in case I got some pro wrestling, which I did. And... Um, there you see me reverse with that same thing I did to lighter guy, even though he's bigger, and also get that kind of arm stretch, lat stretch, which you see me in the um, real street jiu-jitsu and combatives highlight video I put together. You see me do that live against standing grabs all the time. I just did the same thing on the ground. Do people teach that arm stretch submission? No, but it's totally a legit submission. Uh, hitting with the Indian Deathlock here. Tap him out right at the bell. Uh, this guy was a really good, I think, uh, a multi-stripe brown belt. I don't think he was black belt yet, but he was impressive. Maybe he was a Paristra guy, or um, what's that one in Shinjuku? Um, it's a couple, a couple really good, like strict jujitsu schools uh, in Tokyo. This guy was a pro, spazzy, explosive, really explosive. Smaller but strong, explosive, spazzy. A hip over there in the sweep and hit him with a double wrist lock. Got a strong scorpion lock, aka lockdown. Was around a lot of scorpion lock into the electric chair stretch. Kind of me, kind of him. He was kind of flying over. I used the butterfly hook. Look, I was trying to set up a hip lock there, but he was too on his side, it looks like. So I Stop that footage. Good old-fashioned throw pressure to set up the Russian Cowboy. Two on two knee bar. Surprise. Um, AACC, guys. You can see some, some good female fighters and uh, Ryzen's Reign on stuff in the background in some of these clips. Uh, Again, this is the guy who fought in Sengoku. You saw a Heisman Trophy get up there. People don't really know their get-ups. Dance Pass? Was that a Dance Pass? My second Dance Pass I've had in these highlights before John Wick pulled it off in John Wick Chapter 2? Yes, indeed. An electric chair sweep. And I'm keeping locked on that leg to stretch his legs apart. And then he, but then we got to shrug off his reverse triangle attempts. So I'm shrugging everything, which I eventually get out and tick side, I'm sure. Yep. Oh, look how I... That was really cool. I wish you could replay replay that, guys, because I don't know what I did there. I did a walk over his hip. I floated over his hip to the far side, by not the top leg, by using the bottom leg. I thought that was cool. He tries to stand up. And hasten his hip out, and I just drag him back to the ground. I'm trying to set up the Cobra Katan, Cobra Katami. Funny submission on this guy. Um, so I just end up with the howdy choke on him. Showing how even the threat of a punch can help you pass guard. The realities of grappling and striking. This guy was a visiting Korean, probably judoka. Sometime he kept going to like Kesa and sit down. There's Kazuri Kesa. Um, so on sit-up escapes, so there I do the sit-up escape to get into the elbow push. 
that I showed previously at the uh, Sir BJJ in Puerto Rico. The um, I got a whole hour on that, I think, on non-traditional side mount escapes. A little bit more Heisman Trophy get up there. Feeling balance. Oh, someone tries a double underpass showing how like an MMA you could just time it perfectly and give the double boot. Playing with his Kazushi there, his momentum. There you see this again. I showed it in another video. That's the Gokar's the cage when he got a spaz. You want to chill him out, guys. Lock the four points around him. He's got nowhere to go. Just put the jail cell right around him. Kind of, kind of like a health Nelson here to set up a top wrist lock. Yep. There's a top wrist lock with a bit of a throttle on it. Real catch wrestling style. Who's the guy? Oh, there's a hip crease reversal. Let's see Reina on the back right going. Some girls from France who were visiting. This guy was from France. Don't don't know if he was one of the fighters or one of the I don't know. I mean, for them to travel all the way to Japan, I'm sure these people were kind of people that wanted. There's a bicep slicer slash uh, arm scissors. Flower sweep. Two mount, two double grapevine leg spreader hunchback. Yep, it's a legit submission. After I made my Enter the System Ultimate mount with 32 submissions, uh, a few days later, uh, Brazilian black belt won with that in uh, MMA in Texas, I think it was. It was also a favorite, favorite of Carlson Gracie, I've uh, heard. San Kyoko Jimmy, I know how to do triangles too, even though I got short stumpy legs, so I don't go for them often. But if I lock it in, you're dead. Japanese necktie. Mounting to high mount to ah yes the suck it joke and here for grins trying sumo against a professional sumo player Baruto and Ryzen fighter and oh my god he was a freight train I also thought some of the kids and stuff would get a kick out of watching me, who they consider a huge guy, go against this giant of a man. And there's a cure Shoji on the left. I, I always want, I always like Shoji, man. And I finally met him. He was awesome. He heard me trying one more time. I, I was going to go hard, and then I was going to change a second, and he sensed it before I got to. And pure technique there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Watch for the next one. Thanks.